Ridgeway's Learning for Life. This is Lesson 1, Teaching Part A of a tune called Devil's Dream. Devil's Dream is an old tune. It used to be thought of Irish origin. It actually is traced back to a Scottish reel in the 1790s in England called Devil Amongst the trailer, uh, Tailors. <laughs> Not Trailers. Tailors. And uh, so it's an old tune. It's also... Uh, People think in the United States it was a southern tune and actually was more from New England, so it is a, a northern tune. So what we're going to do is break this down, and we're playing this in a melodic style of playing. Now, if you're a patron, you've had access to a patron-exclusive lesson on melodic playing, where you're playing, the, learning the scales and, and you're learning different things, which should help you out tremendously. Uh, the melodic style of playing is based on scales. You don't have the slides, hammer-ons, pull-offs, etc. There's not as much fill in your playing melody. And it is a little different. It's a lot of fun to play. And we're going to jump right into it. So what I want you to do is I want you to put your ring finger on the second string, seventh fret. And what I want you to do is, with your right hand, you're going to play five, two, five, one. Thumb, index, thumb, middle. Five, two, five, one. Keep doing that. Start speeding it up. Try not to look at your right hand. Try just to play this without looking. Try not to look at either hand. Get your speed up as fast as you can get it. And then start slowing it down. Really slow. And build your speed again. While you're doing this, try to talk to somebody or talk to yourself. Try to say maybe the Pledge of Allegiance. Quote a poem, something that you know from memory, and see if you can talk while you're doing this. If you could talk while you're doing this, you've got it down. The reason we're slowing it down and speeding it up is to build muscle memory. Rather than teaching your eyes to play, rather than even teaching your mind to play, you're teaching your fingers to play. So we're gonna actually play that three times for the tune. One, two, three. Play it slow. take your pointer finger. You're going to put it on the second string, fifth fret. Your index is going to play the second string. Your middle is going to play the first string. You're going to move that over. You're playing the third string, fifth fret, and then the second string open. Same process. And you're really doing that once, so let's put it together. slow it down. Sorry. All right. Then you're going to drop. Make sure you can play that. Make sure it's memorized. If, if you need to stop and do this for a while, that's fine. You can always come back to this. You're going to put your two, your middle uh, pointer finger on the third string at five and your middle finger on the uh, second string at five. 
you're gonna play three, two, then with your pinky, you're gonna reach down and you're gonna catch this fourth string at the seventh fret. And then you're playing the second string. So let me call it the strings. Three, two, four, two. Three, two, four, two. Now, if your fingers are long enough where you can just leave it there, go for it, mine are not. So I catch it. This is probably the hardest part of the song because you'll probably get buzzes if you're new to this. So again, right hand, three, two, four, two, three, two, four, two, three, two, four, two. Thumb, index, thumb, sorry, thumb, index, thumb, index. So you're just using your thumb and index there. You're gonna do that three times. One, Two, three. By the way, I'm thinking. <laughs> My goal for you, and when I played it at the beginning, I wasn't thinking, and I could play through the song. When I start breaking it down and thinking, it's much, much harder. My goal for you, because you're thinking right now, is to be able to play it without thinking, with your hands playing the tune. So again, three times. One, two, three. Let's put it all together. So again, you want to build your speed and then you want to play it slowly. We're going to move to our next little phrase. What you're going to do is put your middle finger on the second string at five, your pointer finger on the first string at four, and you're going to be playing the fifth string, first string, second string, and then first string open. It sounds like the Meow Mix commercial. I'm just putting these down and lifting them in unison. So from the beginning. Make sure that you could play that much. Make sure you stop. There's a lot of repetition in this song. So we're going to move on. Make sure you can play that. You're starting all over again. It's all repetition. So let's play that from the beginning. And then we're going to play our last phrase. Let me just play it for you. going to break that down but I want you to hear it together. You're going to play the third string at the fifth fret and then the first string open. You're putting the five four down again. Second string, first string, fifth string. Thumb, middle, index, middle, thumb. Then you're coming back. Sorry. So here's your last phrase. I'm going to play it all together, then we'll break it down. So very slowly.
strike it down. Middle finger on the third string, fifth fret. Play that with your thumb. First string open with your middle. So you're making that five, four. Middle finger goes on the second string at five. Pointer finger goes on the first string at four. You're playing two, one, so. Thumb, middle, index, middle. Strings, three, one, two, one. Then to five with your thumb. Coming back down, he, you're holding this four and five down. One, two, one, open. And again, you want to do that really slow. slow it down. And our last phrase, you're playing the third string at five with your thumb, second string open, ring finger is going to fret the fourth string at the seventh fret, first string open, I'm thinking, playing it faster without thinking. And you can see how that works. That's my goal for you. So there you have Devil's Dream Part A. Have fun with that. Uh, I'm going to give you a slow practice track just for Part A. And uh, you can work with that through the, through the melody of Part A. And it will just be part A, and we'll cut it off. So have fun with this. Thank you, patrons, for your giving, for your support. We will talk to you all very soon. We'll see you next week for part two. God bless.